What's up guys? Pastor Noah here at Bethel Christian Church coming at you in our continuing video series. I'm so excited for this next portion of series that we're going to be doing as we dig into the Lord's Prayer. What I love about the Lord's Prayer is that this is really the only part in the Gospels where Jesus gives us the outline and gives us the template of how we should pray and how we should approach God. Like I said in my introductory videos, when we're coming to the Lord in our private time and in prayer, it's not just bringing our list of needs and all the things that we're seeking to Him. It's really an appointment and that daily communion with God. So we're going to dig into the first portion, which is really the praise and the worship portion of the Lord's Prayer. So if we look in the beginning verses, it says, Our Father who is in heaven, may your name be kept holy. A lot of the older translations say, hallowed be your name. And hallowed means to be kept revered, to be honored and worthy of praise and recognition. And what I love about that is that right off the bat, Jesus kicks it off with praise and worship. He says, when you go to the Father, you greet the Lord and then you worship him. Psalm 145 verse 1 says, Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation will commend your works to the next and they will tell of your mighty acts. Now like I just said before, Going to God in prayer is not just bringing our laundry list of things that we need to Him. It's the appointment that we set every day with the King of Kings. And beginning your prayer time with praise and worship really sets the table for the rest of your time with the Lord. And when the next portion, when he says, may your kingdom come soon, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. See this portion here, this is the acknowledgement that we know that God is in control of all things. We're praying that his kingdom comes. We're praying that his will be done. And what we do here when we express this to him is we express our submission to his will, just like Jesus did in the Garden of Gethsemane right before his crucifixion. When you pray, greet the Lord with praise and worship, with thanksgiving, with honor and praise. The Lord is so worthy. And Psalm 22 verse three says that the Lord inhabits the praises of his people. And that's you and me. Set the table for your prayer time today and worship the Lord and give him the praise and honor that he deserves. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunities that we get to be together um, through video ministry and through social media. Lord God, I pray for everybody watching this video that as they go into their prayer time today, as they get alone in the prayer closet with you, that they would begin with praise. Lord, may it begin and may it end with praise. You are so worthy of all of the praise that we could possibly give you. And we don't just praise you for the things that you've done with us. Though we are thankful for them, we praise you for who you are. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and at the end of the day, most importantly to us, you are our Savior. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Leave a comment down below. Message me if you need prayer or anything else. We're here for you. Even though we can't be in the building, we're still the body of Christ. We'll see you guys in the next video.